Praise God, praise God. I am back on it. Um, just been doing a lot of research and not just a lot of research about something. I'm coming a whole different way because I looked at the video where you remember when they, um, when the judge, the black woman judge came around and hugged Amber, then the brother hugged. And I have to be very, very honest and very real about this situation. And then I'm going to tell y'all what I got on the screen and why I'm saying what I'm saying. They've always used us against us. Oh, man, come on. This stuff getting deeper and deeper. You know, I was trying not to let it get deeper, but it's so deep until. And, and one thing about God, God going to expose everything and everybody. That's just what God does. So anyway, I said, wait a minute, God. So I was listening to another brother and it made sense why they put. He said they put everything and orchestrated it. That's why they had a woman judge. And, you know, I don't just take what people say. I have to meditate, pray about it. I say, wait a minute. They did do that because women, whether you like it or not, most women are what emotional. So when that judge came from around that corner, around from her branch, which it was, was never done before. She had never did that before either. So when she hugged the killer, and that's what I have to call her. And also the brother hugged the killer. This is what God was telling me. He said, they took, they had mercy for the killer more than they had for the person that was killed, the young man. Did y'all understand what I'm saying? And I know some people are going to be like, oh, you're a woman. Yes, I'm a woman of God, but also I'm a woman of reason and accountability. And as a matter of fact, let's go there. Don't God hold you responsible for what you do if you sin? So what are you saying? But I'm going deeper. So let me continue to go deeper because I want to show y'all how the enemy gets people against no no I'm, let me say this thing how i need to say it how black people have been been used for centuries for ages against each other now they won't let their other races won't do this against each other only black people that I, i'm just being real with you so i want to tell i want to show y'all a clip about something this was actually Dick Gregory that presented the preacher who helped kill Dr. King. Now, I'm going to let you listen to what Dick Gregory say, and I'm going to um, go ahead and let you know how he slipped up. Hold on. Hold on. But what you're speaking of witness now is the, the man who came by to get King to take him to dinner. Now listen. And 30 years later at a press conference, he slipped because God... Do baffle your mind sometimes. Okay, now I don't want to listen to all of it because, you know, especially, but I want y'all to see. So we're going to go to this mark, the three minute mark, and listen to what this fool say. And he was talking to people in the courtyard. He stood here and I stood there only as I moved away so he could have a clear shot. The shot right now. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to let y'all listen to that one more time. I'm, and he didn't make no mistake. Hold on. Listen to this fool. Because God will make you expose your own self. And he was talking to people in the courtyard. He stood here and I stood there. Only as I moved away. So he could have a clear shot. The shot right now. Okay. So y'all heard that. He said, only as I move away. So they could have a clear shot. Y'all heard that, right? So when I heard that, I said, Lord, have mercy. So this was when Dr. King, this was the assassination of Dr. King. All right. So I already know that Jesse Jackson had also knocked on the um, door. I'm going somewhere with this. I'm, I'm going to come meet y'all back in today's society. <laughs> so y'all know about the story of Jesse Jackson, right? Taking the blood and wiping it on his shirt and acting like Dr. King died in his arms. And then people, you know, they actually told that that didn't happen. It was another person that he actually died in their arms. What am I saying? Black people, black people, you're still looking for that 40 acres and a mule and it's not coming. It's not going to come, Judas. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm going biblical and I'm going to come back around that block. I, you know, when we look at Jesus and Judas, we think, okay, Judas was just, he just wanted money. He was the treasurer. He was dirty. I believe it was symbolic of what we would have to go through. And I'm talking about all nationalities now about, you see, and I, and I talk about this all the time. Your outsiders can't get to you. It's your insiders. That's why I watch everybody. Now I'm not saying that I'm, I'm a, you know, I don't trust nobody close to me, 
But I'm just saying, I do look at the person that don't have the spirit of God. I do look at the person that's greedy. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. Because it could be anyone that is around you, that is jealous of you, don't like you, or can easily be manipulated. I'm going somewhere. When I look at this whole case, this was premeditated murder. And even the outcome, because now... Just hearing what people are talking about, you know, they're already filing appeals and the Dallas Police Department is actually helping her. So they're saying she may not even spend a year. Y'all not ready for me. Man, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> if y'all don't wake up, if y'all don't wake up. And what I mean by that is everybody is so into stuff, materialism, trying to be famous, trying to be a star. Until you'll sell out for morality, you'll sell out for fame, you'll hurt your brother, you'll hurt your sister, you'll hurt your family, you'll hurt yourself for money. That's where I'm going with this. At the end of this thing, somebody promised somebody something or somebody want to be something. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, because I'm sure Dr. King had a lot of people jealous of him. Y'all know it's the truth. There's always a jealous person. And guess what? In the in crowd, there's always one looking at you funny and you catch them every now and then. Don't act like y'all know what I'm talking about up in here. But I'm going to tell y'all something. My ministry is about to take a, a, a very heavy turnaround. And what I mean by that is I always knew it was coming. I'm, but, but I'm preparing y'all. Because those that are going to say, well, I don't think she's a woman of God anymore. I always knew one day I would have to step up and be an activist. And it's about to happen. I'm going to let y'all know right now. And I don't really care about what nobody have to say about me. I love everybody. But one thing that I don't see I don't see Dr. Uh, I don't see Jesse Jackson. I don't see Al Sharpton. I don't see those leaders. I don't even see the leaders that, I mean, I don't see nobody really. They talking, but ain't nobody really trying to get us together in full unity, in full unity. And hold on, I'm not saying bash another race, but for justice. That's what it's about. Justice, equality, the same thing we've been fighting for and we never got. Let's just be real. And but yet they want us to sit down and shut up. And be a good little puppy. And I'm just being real. And I've had enough. I've had enough. I've had enough. I can't take no more. I can't. I can't. I've been taking it for 51 years technically. The devil is a lie. And that's all I got to say about that. So I want to show you and I want to get you from an angle that they always use us against us. That, that's the whole thing. They always use us against us. Why is that? I'm going to leave you with that question. Why is that? Why is it we're the only race on this planet that people can divide us, subdue us, and turn us against each other? All right. God bless y'all. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Royal Lot Soldiers, for that is who you are. God bless.